Yo, what's up? And today we're gonna do uh, sky replacement, uh, something simple. I already have my video laid out. So what you wanna do is go into your fusion with the clip and then uh, do control space bar, shift space bar, one of those, and then type in tracker. What you wanna do is bring in the tracker node. And to track, what you wanna do is just uh, put it over something. I say something that stands out for me. I'm um, I'm gonna track this part, this little sign right here. So I'm gonna track that. Make sure when you track something, it's not like something moving. It's like still like on the wall. Like, so this sign is like perfect for this. So I'm gonna do that very quickly. All right, next what you wanna do is copy media in one, paste it, and then add a polygon node. What you wanna do is turn off polygon, go to the first frame, and then just like rough mask the sky. All right, now that I rough mask the sky, what I'm gonna do is track it now. So make sure this, this keyframe on the bottom right, like under all these options is keyframed. Then you just go frame by frame. You could always turn off the polygon so it looks easier to see if it's in, in the mask or not. So just turn it off. So highlight every like keyframe or mask stop, whatever the fuck it's called. Highlight it and then just go frame by frame and see. And just make sure the sky is like all masked out. Now that you have it all masked out, what you want to do is just grab a, grab a chroma key. And uh, now what you want to do with chroma key, you just like uh, highlight the sky, drag highlight, and just try to take away most of the sky, like as much as you can. If you make a mistake, hold control and then click Z. It'll redo all the stuff you did. And if you want to redo, it's control shift Z. So you can go forward. With the chroma key, all you want to do is just uh, mask out the sky and that's pretty much it. Try to get most of it. If you can't, that's fine. Try not to like make it spill like this, for example, like it's going on the building. Just don't do that. And then with this one, you also might want to go frame by frame to see where you messed up on, if you messed up anywhere. So now what you want to do once you're done is go to mat. Or there's like certain frames where there's outlines. Like right here, there's outlines, like white outlines, like the sky. To get rid of that is uh, bring up the blur, but like I say, 0.25. And then bring down the contrast a little bit so you can't see it. Make sure you hold control and then drag to the left when messing with your contrast. So once you, once you have that, now what you want to do is uh, click on invert mat and so now it only shows the sky and once you have that what you want to do is um, drag your chroma key here and then connect it to the tracker node using the blue arrow and then we should be good from there now for the background change what you want to do is just grab like any image moving like standing still whatever whatever you want i'm gonna go with um go to clouds what you want to do now is let's say it's like a lower resolution or like it's wide or something you could always um add a resize node and then put it to the resolution of your liking so for me it's um 852 by 480 and i want it 1920 by 1080 so i just put in a resize node and then change the width and height to the value i want and it's that resolution it might be lower quality if you're um if the image size or the video size resolution is like lower that's fine uh, now what you want to do, I mean, you could change it any color you want. So um, we'll go with like a uh, red, I guess. Do all the settings you want to do. Then add like a transform node and then connect. We're not going to mess with the transform yet. Right now, connect the transform to the green arrow in the tracker. So now go to tracker, go to operation, click on operation and switch it to match move. And now your background's changed. What I like to do is just to mess with like the size and then change the center with the background so it looks better so it has like a better background i guess which is color so let's go let's go blue to match ion yeah it looks pretty good now that we have that there's still some things you could add but i this is pretty much it with the sky replacement like we replace the sky another thing you could do is uh add like a death map if you have studio like there's like a ton of mistakes like right here that could be fixed like right here it spills right here and death map will make it look way better but yeah that's pretty much it with the uh, sky replacement that's how it looks i guess yeah that's pretty much it with this video um like the video subscribe um and i'll put another poll uh, as soon as this video drops, you guys can vote for the next tutorial. Join my Discord server, link in the description. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Bye.